Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, yesterday the Australian dollar fell from the highs of 78.70 and now puts a dent in the bullish pattern. As you can see here from the stochastic, has actually started to roll over from the highs and also the RSI is dropping as well. Looking ahead to this week, the Australian dollar may have another setback with the retail sales to be released on Thursday. And if disappointing, could see the market fall further towards 77.90. A break beneath there could see weakness to 77.35, which is where I favour. Purely for the fact is that we did get a doji on the upside test and now falling away from the 79 handle does put further emphasis to the downside. With the dollar recapturing 92 on the index, the euro fell further overnight and took out the support of 119.80 after printing the lower of 119.55. Overall, I do expect to see the US dollar to gain further momentum. And looking at the stochastic as well as the uh, MACD and also the RSI does support a further case to the downside with the immediate target coming in at 119.30 and then down towards 118.60 and reassess from there. Any advances should now find a cap around 119.85 on the day. Well, the dollar yen case failed to take out the 113.40 after printing a high of 38. But that being said, let's not discount further challenges to the upside today with the market looking towards this level. With the indicators also firming up, should see a rise and maybe eventually see a break above there and look up towards the region coming in around 114.10 to 114.70. No significant moves with a pound overnight, as you can see, and the market is still consolidating beneath the 136 handle. Overall, I do expect to see weakness towards 135.20 and then down towards the region of 134.70 to 133.80. Any advantage should still fail. <clears throat> the gold pattern still slightly to the overbought case, and I still expect to see a pullback towards 1,308 or even lower down towards 1,298. Overall, the border pattern is bullish though. So once we get out of this overbought condition, then we should see a further rise with a top side target coming in around 1,345 to 75. And to wrap up with all, well, the market is attempting to recapture its bullish momentum as it takes on the $62 handle. Overall, the technicals are not fully supportive to this move. Nevertheless, we could see a slight stab to the upside with the resistance still capping around 62.15 to 62.80. So that wraps up for my webinar for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day that's ahead of you.